for up to an year. Ah. Yes. The more you soak, the better. So what can I soak them in? You can soak them in wine mm -hmm. or rum. Okay. So yeah. what if I don't drink? Okay, when you soak them, you won't feel the, the alcohol, the alcohol in, in when the, you cook yes, the alcohol evaporate. You won't feel it, yes. yes. See that we've created our oven at If you put it all at green and the red when you're mixing your butter make sure you don't over mix mm -hmm. because if you over mix your cake won't have 
cooked well, it mm. might actually sink. Ah, yes. Okay. Yeah. So that's just enough. Yes, that's wow. just enough. So we had greased our tins. You can grease your tins or you can line them with parchment, parchment paper. And when you're cooking your cake, so, so to make sure you get a nice, well cooked cake, you should separate your butter evenly into two tins. Mm, okay. So you weigh them? Yes, you have to weigh them. Very precise. <laughs> it's a lot of mathematics in cake baking. don't actually rise as high as other fruit as other okay. cakes yes mm -hmm. because it has a lot of fruit which make it more dense oh it's earlier yeah. yes uh -huh. so now you know your fruit cake a fruit cake is not a sponge cake mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so if you buy a fruit cake and you get a sponge there is a That's problem a of fruit yeah so we put this in the oven You just feel like eating, but it's a pre-serve for Christmas. So our Christmas cake is ready and we have enjoyed learning from you a new way of doing the Christmas cake. And thank you and come back again. So guys, if you want a Christmas cake, a rich Christmas cake, Cynthia has ready soft fruits. So you can order. We have put a number.